Behind me, we've got uh, at least eight hitting stations, so you can get eight times the number of kids hitting, and plus, most of them are hitting in a more compact way. They'll get a lot more swings. We're going to be emphasizing certain aspects. We want to emphasize things that improve their vision. We want to emphasize things that improve their power or their techniques. So well, let's come on down the line and let's just go through these. A simple technique is just trying to bunt. All we want to do is see the ball, hit the bat. Watch the ball, see if you can see what letter of the bat that the ball is dropping on. Okay? And then we go from there. The next drill we do, we just work on a simple tee. The reason we use a tee is so that people can Make sure their swings are perfect. If they can't hit perfectly on a tee with a ball not moving, they can't hit a ball that is moving and moving fast. So we just have a couple people here swinging on tees, getting their swings instructed. Coach can come by, talk to them about how he wants them to swing, and work on getting better. Another device I like is the personal pitcher. And so they have live pitching, but now they're focusing on a much smaller ball. Keep your head around, see the ball hit the bat again. There we go. And real simple. Another station. Okay, so what we want to do with this drill is we want to really get them concentrating on real small. And they're just using a little web glove to try and see the ball into and if you notice, we even have a kid doing the pitching. There's nothing special. She doesn't even have to be a pitcher. Uh, just something that can concentrate on little, simple eye-hand coordination. OK, what we're doing here is we just have a line. Now, again, we talked about there might be two different styles. So depending on how you want the line to go, uh, you just want to make sure that their bat is following the right trajectory. So this team right here is working on a slightly upward swing. Um, so all you do is you just find out, are they following the line? Okay, go ahead and speed that up a little bit and let's see what it looks like. Okay, she's above the line a little bit. Try and run right on the line. Okay, fine. You could actually teach another style of hitting. You may prefer to have the kids swing of the bat going down. If that's true, you, we could even use the same line, either work on the other side of the fence or have lefties come over here. So it's just the same approach. Whatever cho you choose as a trajectory, have that line, and this can be a simple station. You could also use somebody that's even untrained as a coach to be sedanning behind you. Did you follow the line? Did you not follow the line? Okay, we have another device, and we're just trying to see if they hopefully aren't rolling their wrists. So they just go in live pitching, and if you hit it flat, it's going to go nice. If she rolls her wrist, it's going to not give her the response she wants. Okay. Okay, and right here, all we're doing is a drop drill with a little device that drops the ball. You pick up the ball. She can just pick them up without having to scoop them up. She doesn't even have to stand on anything. You can stand on a stool and drop a ball, but this device helps. And you just try to time it in such a way. So you're learning how to hit a ball. It should create a quicker swing. You don't have time to let it go too far into the zone. So you just have to deliver a quick swing. OK, one of the devices I really like the best is simple a toss device. Uh, we call it the retractable ball. And it just does toss drill, just saves your uh, toss her from having to worry about a net. It also saves them from having to bend over. Some of us are a little older to be bending over all the time, so we like this uh, device. But it's just a toss drill. Just get the kid timed, timing the pitch. 
trying to learn another station. And you can mix this one up where you have, uh, they can hit on the first swing, on the second toss, and you know, to give them different timing. One of the things we like to do is we like to focus in on a little ball with a little stick. We use a grow bat here. I like this one. There's lots of them out on the market. Uh, this one has a, a, what we call a sweet spot indicator. Uh, if she hits it just right, it'll go uh, and have a certain sound if she doesn't quite get it. Keep your eye on the ball, head down, see it hit the bat. Oh, see, but it, it's not easy. And if you really get good, you could use that personal pitcher with, the, uh, with this bat and really create fast pitching and hitting it through. But right now, we're just getting the girls to concentrate on small ball, small stick, uh, give them uh, what they need to really focus on the ball.